Okay guys, this is Joe at Sacramento Hydrographics. I thought I'd take a second to show you my homemade tank out of a milk vat. It's been up and running now for about two years. Completely flawless. Uh, I'm sorry, when I say flawless, I did, blow, I did lose one heater element because I let it go too low of water in my dam. Uh, you can see the measurements. It's about 8 foot 7 and a half, 8 foot 8 inches long. And it's about 5 feet wide, end to end. It's got about 2 inches in between the double walls and it's all insulated in there. Uh, I use a spray bar that's just made out of square tubing, stainless square tubing with holes drilled in it. As you can see it has really good water flow. I have a, here's my controller on this side. Over here you'll see I've got a little button I can hit, stretch my timer. So if I'm laying something down right here, I just reach over the side, hit the timer. I've got a foot pedal below me, I can hit, and my water goes off. You can see how my spray bar is plumbed right through the side there, up to the bottom of the spray bar. When I did this, I was actually doing this with the idea of maybe putting a lower spray bar to keep the bottom of the tank clean. I have not had to do that. As you can see, there's a little trough built into this milk vat. comes across. I put my dam on a pitch. The reason I did that is because I had a buddy, a tank I was dipping out of, and the film and everything would collect at the bottom corner of the tank. So I figured if I put on a pitch, it'd help bring stuff up, and it's that I never get anything stuck in the corner of my tank anymore. As you can see, I've got a simple dam system. I love my tape measures. Just a bunch of different dams. Just cut on each end, just aluminum. Real simple. Movable bar in the center, that's my 60 second timer. Hit the water, hit the button, water goes flows. I can actually stop the water, start the water from my controller. Start the timer, stop the timer from my controller right here if I want to. Here's my dam system, just typical water over the spillway, filtering out the water. I've got my pump inside here. I've got two heater elements, one on each side, 4500 watt, down inside there. This is using a, believe it or not, Harbor Freight uh, pump. Again, it's been here for two years, working absolutely flawlessly. I uh, actually bought the three-year warranty thinking there's no way it would last. I figured it'd be gone by now, but it's working perfectly. This tank's probably seen uh, somewhere around 24 to 25 gallons of activator go through it in the past two years. Uh, but anyhow, that's my tank simple and homemade. Oh, my tank is awful. I forgot to tell you guys, it's pretty high. As you can see, my foot pedal is below it. I did that on purpose because I have a, I broke my lower back several years ago, so it makes it hard for me to lean over. I actually had it on the skids at first, and I wound up putting wheels on it to make it a little bit higher just to save my back, but works out good for me. That's it.